With every black movement comes innovative culture and fresh slang to match. Soon enough, that language is co-opted and stolen. The newest target, woke, which actually runs a century deep in our history. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed the Stop Woke Act in 2022, intending to gut black education from schools and workplaces. The state of Florida is where woke goes to die, he said, and this rhetoric spread nationwide, but where did woke come from? The concept's at least a century old. In 1923, Marcus Garvey wrote Wake Up Africa to urge the black diaspora to be more aware of our social and political reality. In 1938, blues artist Huddy Ledbetter warned Stay Woke in a protest song about the Scottsboro Boys. Word continued circulating, and in 1962, black novelist William Melvin Kelly published a piece in the Times called If You're Woke, You Dig It. Ironically, it was about white Americans co-opting innovative black language, and that's exactly what happened next. From Erica Badu in 2008 to social media users in 2017, hashtag stay woke connected millions of people commenting on the anti-blackness of current events. Like, you seeing this too? White America soon swooped in claiming wokeism as anything from cringy performative activism to a reason to criminalize anyone advocating for human rights. But do they really have the power to strip our culture of its meaning? Nah. Woke, conscious, radical, you name it. Whether we reclaim our words or innovate new ones, our awareness hasn't died yet, and it never will. We all know schools aren't teaching black history correctly. That's why Push Black is so important. Will you support truthful, accurate, empowering black history content with a donation? Click the link in our bio to donate now.